What's up guys? I am back in Swords and Sandals and once we hit level 24 I'm going to pick up some level 3 spells. We're still in Karkan. Let's go ahead and take on the next Doom Trick, see if it's possible at this current state. Now remember, this character doesn't have high defense or vitality. Very easy to kill. So until I fix that major issue with the character, probably going to have a couple issues on some of the bosses. Kaleida Pope's going to be one of those. Because if we look at the stats here, 47 intellect and 40 charisma, so... He's just like me, except for what has way higher stats in mostly every category. Very low chance for me to hit. Especially when he deals like 300 damage just like that, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So this isn't one that I'm ready for yet, but he's also level 25, so I can at least push to just under 30 before I take him on. Um, let's go ahead and do that quick reset if it doesn't, like... Uh, it's not great still. There it goes. I was like, the second I make any noise like it might be working out, I should get killed. Let's see. It'd be so nice if the higher level ones had a slightly higher chance to hit. I don't think they do, but it would be kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, we got him in a tight spot right now. GG. Big block on the taunt. Very low chance we're gonna hit any of these. Big money. Nice, good taunt. Ooh. Big taunt. Nice. <laughs> Mm. 
Nice, big helmet break, set up a foundation for the win here. Day. Only had a 12% chance to hit. I'm not going to be able to take on the training dummy pretty soon here. <clears throat> Check the weaponsmith. Cool. Same items I already saw, I think. So I uh, finished getting this level. <laughs> Almost there though. Interesting. Nice. Are you not Moving me to 24. I get new abilities. And Sonic has moved into the 30s. Or Charisma, I guess, but same, same. <laughs> One day for new items. But let's go to training. So I only had 126. Yeah, same chance to hit, just way higher cost. I'll even put that one on for now as separate. Uh, I guess try luck against the boss. is going to take all that damage over time. That was big. They rested. Huge mistake by them. I should have used... Oh, wow. That was a big mistake by me. I should have used the ice shards, but it looks like they gave me the same chance to hit on those. And then we'll hit them with another taunt. There goes his helmet, at least. Aria right, to heal that up. Wow, he just blasted me. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot it was Selfestus. He's the one who uh, all of us were complaining about for having the OP stats. That was great. I'm sure he got a little bit nerfed already, but... That was more than doable, though.
Well, he's gotten off every single one so far. Uh, one more try and then we'll continue moving. Nice. Huge. Lots of damage over time coming in for him. The taunt would have been cool there. This gives us a chance to Arya. During each of those rests, I should have added more damage over time. Oh, I'm dumb. That might have cost me. That should have stunned him. Good. Oh, if the last one hit. That was it right there. That was all I needed. I mean, I had to. That's basically GG for me. That's it. I win. Yeah, buddy. That was a close one. I gotta say, that was a very close one. Plus two vitality, that's a much needed reward. It seems like he's up the reward slightly for what you get for completing these. Uh, making it feel a little bit more valuable. Nice. So now I can decide between People's Champion for the bonus stars or Guitar God, which is what we're going to go for. 5% chance of stun would be ideal. Uh, and then I'll have three points remaining where I can kind of choose where I'm going to disperse. Right now we're in a pretty darn good spot. So it's still a day before shops restock. This is more than a day's travel. Well, a day 22 hours. Let's try it. XP. I feel like I should have gone for the other option, tried to lose it. Probably would have gotten agility or something. Let's go ahead and find out. We may have already saved since I entered the town, but we'll find out. I think we're good. It says three days now, though, because I closed the game, I guess. 
So each of those showed up. So it's a pole armor, it's XP. I always fail these. I don't even like trying these anymore. I get a one or a two every time. I I think I the only ones that I've ever succeeded were ones where I was testing something to see how I could get them to spawn up so I could test more of them. And I failed every single one that would give you stat points or anything like that. And I succeeded on all the ones that were just junk. And it was at that point that I was just like, not cool. I, I just couldn't do it. It felt like it was just set up, rigged. Alright, so. Pretty useless rewards either way for this. It looks like there's not even like a challenge roll for it. We'll just shelter in the house, take the XP, and move on. Because it is basically half a level. It's kind of ideal. So it's already late-ish in the evening. This cape had more armor before it had 30 armor. Why does it always do that with my capes? They're always much le weaker than when they started. So, Grand Entertainer isn't... Well, it actually might be one of the ones that exists. Breastplate for two vitality and one fire protection instead of one agility with a huge armor buff in two levels. I'll take it. Leg guards, decent armor buff. I'd lose one intelligence. Still might be worth it. I'll put them on. Still 7 p.m. Sure, I'll check a shop. There we go. Three stamina, one fire protection, 46 base damage, cost me 26k. Huge upgrade there. And uh, now it should be a little later in the evening. Eight. Yeah, so this one fight will probably move me to the next day for sure. So let's go against the biggest, baddest guy. So let's look. 130, 195, 65. So, really, really nice damage it's looking like for the guitar now. Oof. This guy's done for. One of those for sure connects, right? You know? And then it's just finishing him with the taunt next turn. Big money. Every day is a new day. <laughs> Let's see if she has anything. Looks like these are still the level ones. Two charisma, one innate sorcery. So the two charisma we're taking. Easy win. Are you not I'm pretty entertained, man. You don't have to yell at me. Uh, let's finish this off with a bang on the weakest guy right here. Wow. 
All right, a little bit of target practice. And GG. So we'll clutch up level 26 there. Take a look how much this changed things. All right. So they were within one point of each other on resistance before, both of them just under 80. Now they're both over 80 with the magic resist being 86 now. 33 in charisma, 26 in intellect, 27 after modifier. So, I mean, intellect can still use a few more points, but at the same time, charisma is going to increase our chance to hit, which is what we really need with our spells. Um... We're still going to add more to intellect. I'd like to see it touch like 35 before I stop training it. Just to make sure that the majority of the time my uh, bard-like abilities will never miss. Let's see. As we can see, the chance to hit has gone up tremendously from when we started. We're at... On this case, 99s on the right, 76s on the left. Very, very nice. We cannot complain about that one. Check under training. It looks like uh, we can pick up the level threes for our other spells now too. So I'm gonna do so for the necrotic. Need level 30. Ah, little fat kid. What? Shrink can dramatically reduce your enemy's strength and defense by 25 for six turns that sounds really powerful hey you had strength and defense now it's all gone you know like you can't really hurt me with your melee and i can hit you whenever i feel like seems a little bit beefy 25 is a lot of points that's like saying hey do you want to remove 25 levels from someone it's kind of cheap I don't know. I'll probably pick that one up since I do have the hybrid build and that'll make me really beefy against any melee users. Uh, will be interesting to see. I know this one's a little bit of a short one and we're typically used to those longer one hour plus entries, but uh, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. That's about all I really got for the bard slash mage build. I mean, yes, we might end up pushing it to 40 in the event that we do push it to 40. This build's going to be a very different build. When we talk about it like that, that's going to be 28 additional stat points from now. So even if we push this one to 35 with nine of those, then that still leaves us 19 points to work with, 17 of which will probably go into Charisma, pushing it to 50, um, and then the last two in, like, Vitality. Um, it's a very interesting build so far. I think it has very high damage output and very high chance to hit with two of the strongest setups in the game but currently it's a very not tanky build because you don't have a shield like you would on a mage and you're not like going pure as you would with a bard so it's a little tougher to get the extra tanky points in uh whereas this one like you really need to be precise with when you add points and we're uh, well, like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Check out some of my other content. I've got like 900 videos on my channel for you to look through. <laughs> All sorts of different games and other types of content. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.